Hello everyone out there, it's the Tipler 3848 and strap yourselves in, this is gonna be a quick one. You can see that we're already a goal up against Roma here, but what I've basically done with FIFA 16 on the horizon on Thursday, I know a lot of people already got it, but I haven't yet because I'm on PS4, so shush. But we're 2-1 up, up against Roma right now, but what I've done is I've condensed the entire season into this one episode of 8 minutes long. You can see that we won our Champions League game, lost to Udinese, and then Sassolo as well. That led us into the game against Bayern Munich, and we conceded after 2 minutes to Mario Goetze, and that was it! That was it! That's how quick this is going to go. And then we beat Livorno. I've basically simmed every single game apart from the really, really important ones. Another win there. So we're picking up nice little bits and pieces of points. Had to play this one. We were one point behind Dynamo Moscow at the start of this game. And we were in third position. So to beat them... Uh, to go second, I had to play it, didn't I? But we go into a 2 0 lead after 14 minutes and game over, obviously, because I'm awesome. 3 0 up just before half time from that penalty from Rodrigo Palacio. Uh, no way back into it, of course, is there? There's 3 1, and it's 3 2, and the Russians have got a chance here, maybe, but not really. Clip Guarin! So yes, we actually get through the Champions League into the knockout stages, which is what we wanted. Into a game against Sampdoria. Every now and again I've just slowed down the recording a little bit so I can have a chat and a, just catch my breath. But that was 0-0. We go into a game against Genoa. 4-0 win there. Beautiful. And then a 2-1 win against the same opposition in the Cup. Not going to play any Cup games. Don't care about that. Only care about the League and Champions League. Beat Napoli. In a simmed match, 3-1. Brilliant. And then the same scoreline against Livorno. We get Sassolo again and lose again. What is the problem with that? But in the transfer window, I bought David Luiz and I bought somebody else. I can't remember right now. I'll come back to it. But David Luiz got injured in the first match he played uh, for eight weeks. So I went and I... Loaned Saar and Ayan. Oh, it was Marquinhos. Marquinhos is the other player that I bought. So I've basically bought PSG. 2 1 win against Udinese in the cup there. But I bought PSG. I have bought Lucas, Rabio. Uh, I've also bought da -da 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 other players. But we. Are we going to beat Juventus finally? Pelosi! <laughs> We concede a last minute own goal and they get a draw. And then we draw the next game against Empoli. Now, I'm not really showing you the league here, you might notice, because we want to get straight through. But we're back into the Champions League against PSG. I nearly said PSG Eindhoven then, but it's not. It's Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, obviously the dickhead that is Ibrahimovic. Dickhead, but a very good player. Uh, you can see that Shakiri gets a goal right at the last minute there. What a jerk face asshole uh, but so what I've done in the Champions League is I've simmed the home match and played the away game but like I said I don't care about the Italian Cup it would have been nice to win it but we actually go down 2-0 to Roma but then we have to play them straight afterwards in the league and we score in the 44th minute with Pelosi again he had a fantastic season but you'll see that don't you worry you can see he gets taken out there still gets his pass to Palacio what is the goalkeeper doing there? He sort of dove, saved it, dove on it, and then let him score anyway. And then literally a couple of minutes later, you've got Alberto Poloshi, and what a finish that is. He ran through the entire team, little chip finish, absolutely beautiful. Again, Roma, no chance of coming back. Daniele De Rossi never scores. What's he thinking there? And that was a foul by Canabiak and a red card as well. So I did do a little bit of shuffling at that point. I brought on a defender. I can't remember which defender I brought on, but I took off one of the strikers. They did miss it. Hit the bar, came back, header. I'm missing some of these results, but that was 2-1 against Sampdoria. And uh, we managed to beat Roma as well there, 3-2. So into the second leg of the Champions League. Some highlights again because I'm obviously going to play this game. What a goal from Palacio right in the uh, the beginning embers of the game and then we get a lucky one. No we don't. What a volley by Kovacic. He was fantastic in that game. 
But we're moving very quickly on to Kievo. We beat them 1-0 away from home. And we start putting a ridiculous run together. This is the next round of the Champions League against Benfica. And it was the away leg first one playing at first. And that's why you've not seen the Sim home game just yet. But you see we go goal up and then in the last minute, get your buckets out. We've sweated it. Yeah, I don't do it very often. You've never really seen me do that much of that. So... Uh, you can basically go away, but we do beat Napoli again there. I don't know how we beat them all Like every time I basically played them. I simmed it and I beat them. It was ridiculous I had the perfect squad whether I was playing games or simming them But you can see we're simming loads of matches here. We're into the Milan derby uh, Missed out on saying about the Champions League second leg. I think we won it 2-1 so we went through 4-1 on aggregate. This is the semi-final of the Champions League. It's 2-1 at the minute, but Palacio in the 89th minute gives us a 2-2 draw at home. Meaning when I come to play that, which is right now, we have to get a goal. Because basically it's it's away goal rule at the minute. But you can see that Candreva has put in the rebound there from Marco Royce. Marco Royce tore me to pieces this whole game. He was so good, and Kandreva as well with a double. So, and I, there's just nothing I could do. I was really, really knocking on the door. Had quite a lot of opportunities. Their goalkeeper saved everything. So, that's the way the cookie crumbles. We're out at the semi final, and we go into a draw uh, against Fiorentina just before the last game. This is actually the final uh, league. You can see that I've won the championship. I have absolutely barnstormed it. I mean, we're 15 points ahead of Juventus there. Uh, sorry, not quite the last game, uh, but it was the final league table I was showing you. So we wanted to go out with a bang against Torino. That's why I showed you that beforehand. Uh, we were a bit in party mode, obviously, in the first 17 minutes, going 2-0 down to Torino, of all teams. But we're into the second half here. I made a few subs, and Bayou was one of those. Uh, then he's obviously come on and scored. Icardi then, that was a bit lucky. It's 2-2 though, what a comeback. But the perfect way to really finish this one off is obviously for Alberto Pelosi to stick in a winner in the last minute. That means we win the league, we end on a win, and we got to the Champions League semi-final. So I'm going to leave these guys celebrate for a minute. Thanks very much for watching. I didn't want to leave any loose ends with my uh, my Inter Milan career mode. I'm sorry it seemed so rushed. Uh, and I was basically talking at speed. But just enjoy the pictures and enjoy some music. This is the Tipler. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thank you.